It's the stuff of science fiction, exploring the human body after death without a scalpel touching the skin. This facility in Sheffield is home to the Digital Autopsy Center, where pathologists can conduct post-mortems with just a click of a computer mouse. The virtual exam keeps the body intact and sees things that are difficult to find in a traditional autopsy. To actually have the scan and know where the bullets are to begin with and know what the tracks look like before you touch the body, know where the blood is, know where the air is before you actually begin to do your autopsy is a huge help. This is a typical CT scanner. When the body is brought in, it's placed here. The machine scans it, and within a matter of seconds, 25,000 images are taken. Those images are then transferred to a computer and transformed into a 3D picture. There's various tools we have to, to, that we can use to dissect with. With a virtual scalpel, we can slowly remove the layers. Whilst doing so, we're looking for any any abnormalities, any differences, any forms of injury, foreign objects um, while we're doing so. And if I wanted to focus in on something, let's say the kidneys, how do I do that? Um, we have uh, a function uh, for special, uh, special areas of interest, so for the kidneys for example, looking at the surface, any signs of injury, but we can also have a closer look and now we can actually see the inside of the kidney. The results of the autopsy can be ready the same day in most cases, ideal in criminal investigations. And for those who have lost a loved one, it's an alternative to a regular autopsy, where cutting open a body in a number of places can be traumatic for families. The virtual examination won't replace traditional methods just yet. The technology can't identify certain diseases, but for now it's a complement to the autopsy, allowing a computer to go where a knife can't. Catherine Stansel, Al Jazeera, in Sheffield, Northern England.